In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to measure taper angle using sine bar and slip gauges. The taper angle is denoted by theta here. H1 and H2 denotes the heights of the centers of the left and right rollers from the plane respectively. We are taking a gauge block of 25mm length from our slip gauge set. We just need to completely fill this gap so we can get the height. So we'll take another gauge block and carefully slide it in between the gap. It's not going in. We need a smaller block than this. So we are sliding another one now. This two seems a bit bigger. We'll check which gauge blocks will fit together properly. To get precise readings, you need to check different gauge blocks. And no need to rush. Just do this calmly and be patient. Aha! This combination of blocks have completely filled the gap, so adding all these lengths together gives the height H1. So we'll write it down. Now for height H2, we are taking block of 50mm length. As you know, this gap needs to be filled. After trying 3-4 gauge blocks, we found this combination to be perfect and tight. So this will give height H2. We'll apply the sine rule now. It's easy. Sine theta will be equal to the difference between these two heights divided by the length of the sine bar. And the length of the sine bar has been mentioned in the starting of this video. Calculating further will give you the taper angle that is theta. All done. Thanks for watching.